Right, welcome to ETN News. We're going to be looking at the North American Hazard Map USGS put out. All right, now what we're looking at here is understanding of what's going on. All right, let's zoom in. We got New York here, and this is Missouri. Missouri. 160% chance we got a, of an earthquake, and we got that 2.0 east southeast to Marston, Missouri. And you can see 80%, 60%, and 50%, 40 and 30. You know, it drops down. Okay, that one's right in the middle. We can expect that one. Okay, these other ones, they're moving on the outside of the main area where we're expecting most earthquake activity. We got this one and and the twelve percent. And got one and ten percent. Nothing over in the forty or the thirty. We'll see a couple of white flashes here. Okay now over here on the west coast we got a 3.0 West Abandoned Oregon. And let's look at these here. This is a 120% chance of a earthquake. You can see here it comes down from Eureka. 160% chance coming down this fault all the way down to here. Well, right here, 160% chance. And then it goes down to 120 down through here. All right, that's right down to San Andreas Fault. All of that is 120. Here's some 80. Not all of it. A few is 80 percent. All the way down the California coast. Now, over here is what we're looking at. We've been swarming a lot around Beatty. This Rock Valley Fault Zone. Beatty and Nevada and we got this around Indian Springs this don't show any chance of an earthquake nothing not a chance that's what this map was made for okay we got an earthquake there and been having earthquake activity there around Indian Springs these are spots that shouldn't even be really having earthquake activity. 30% chance in Goldfield. And we got those. It's just a coming out on faults that we're not expecting them to come out on. Let me back this up a little bit. Okay, let's move over here to the east coast. And go back down there. Alright, New York. We've talked about a large earthquake in the future hitting over here and right after that we started getting activity and we got five small quakes that are aftershocks from the other day and 3.5 it's in between 3 to 4.1 miles deep out of the five okay you got PPAC Gladstone, High Bridge, in between those. But look where it's located. This is on the line of, let me see, follow it around, right on the line of 12 to 14 percent chance of having an earthquake. But New York is right here, and it's in the 16 percent chance of having a large quake. So these quakes are starting to hit in areas that we normally don't see them hitting. That's like down here where they crack the crust, you know. You don't you don't show nothing down here. There's an earthquake right there, but it's not in the chance of an earthquake. Around Odessa. You see that's only eight percent chance right here. So we're starting to have a lot of earthquake activity in places that we didn't have them before. And the cocoa plates, something is blocking the cocoa plates. So it has to release 
don't know what it'll cause, but you know, it's got a release. But it's causing earthquakes to come down through here. They was lined up here yesterday when I looked down through the coast around the main fault. Anyway, I wanted to show you what this was and how this is. You know, the hazard zones. And now we're starting to get earthquakes in places that is out of the hazard zones. And then earthquakes of where we normally don't get any. Right uh, next to, it's in between 12 to 14 percent. And they got the tsunami stations on on the east coast, one of those, and they put the other one back where it's supposed to be, up here in New, near New York. Hopefully they'll get that on soon. And this crack here, you remember us talking about this crack? This is the first thing we talked about when I, you know, I know the earthquake's coming. And then I got to thinking, maybe it's coming from up through this way and over you know, in between Boston and New York or somewhere because this is a ridge or we wouldn't have sea mounts going through here off the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Well, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is pushing against the plates. It's going to cause some damage and you can see this crack, earthquake crack. Where does it go? That's straight for New York. That's in a, you know, New York, that was a bad place to build a big city. I mean, maybe go let, kick back on the beach or something, but a big city near there, you know, that is a bad place. Kind of spooky at a time like this. So you can see where earthquakes is hitting in areas where there isn't supposed to be earthquake activity. But we're getting a lot. So there's a lot of spots. If you live near a big fault zone, you may expect a, I mean, you may get a larger quake than usual or a very large quake that comes through there because the faults are opening up and the faults are being pushed together in certain areas because of the ridge, mid-Atlantic ridge pushing against one side and we got over here on this side pushing this way and over here on this side pushing this way. Well, over here on the west coast, it's actually going northwest but it's going slower because of over here around the other side around Japan Philippines it's pushing all of this so that's the reason everything is firing up over here a lot a whole lot having the most largest quakes over here because it's jamming this up on the Pacific plate all right, I'll see you all later on, and I'm just checking everything to see what I can find out. I haven't been on here in a while, and, you know, there's got to check everything to see what's going on. I'll see you next time. Everybody stay safe.